Good morning. I can actually talk again. Uh, I don't want to overdo it, so I want to save my voice for the work and for the podcast tomorrow. Um, because in the last days, even whispering was painful. Wow, that was a very, very heavy virus and it knocked me out so dramatically. On Monday, I thought, okay, hmm, it feels rough in the throat but maybe I can go to work so I um, put on my clothes and I wanted to brew some coffee and then I made it so made some voice tests so to say um, and I realized oh my gosh that's that's not good it's awful it hurts and I'm, I'm sounding so weird and I really debated with myself and decided not to go to work on Monday so that I can go on Tuesday <laughs> because I thought, okay, we will, I will recover from that very, very quickly, quick, quickly. Um, no, I didn't. On Tuesday it was, I, I couldn't talk at all. At the dos doctors I whispered, but it was so painful. I tried to get out all the information only by body language and hand signs. It was awful. Now I still have to cough and um, my nose is running. <laughs> is that the right word? I don't know. <coughs> but it's okay. I can I can work to, uh, on, on, on Monday again. I want to work on Monday again. Um, yeah. So uh, we haven't had that much snow like today and since the first vlogmas episode it's pretty much as as much as in the first episode and i will show you a little bit snow walk footage and yeah have fun So I'm a person who talks a lot, not only at work, also in private life. And I realized that this not even one week of not being allowed to talk or being able to talk for several days um, was a very interesting experience because, so for example, I couldn't talk so much at Benny and I say at Benny because I don't talk with him I talk at him and I think for a dog it's not so good if you talk so much with him because he can't make a difference between your just silly talking or um, giving him commands and I realized that I didn't have, have to say something only my body language was enough to make him clear what I want from him because it would have hurt <laughs> if I had told him to sit or to stay or to come here or so and he really realized only by my body language because I didn't talk to him that was very good and um, social interaction there is so much happening between two people without words uh, that was very a very good experience and yeah definitely Definitely the bright side of being sick.
in nine days is Christmas and yesterday so I'm not um, I, d I don't watch the regular TV um, very much I don't I don't do that and I don't like to watch the news because yeah that's another topic I don't like to watch the news um, but my boyfriend does and so if he is I have to pull the dog you know like like he is on a sleigh and I have to pull him up the hill <laughs> um, well doesn't matter I don't like to watch all that but the news were on on so yeah in the TV and they were uh, on, on a channel in Germany it's in German it's NTV so NTV it's like BBC or so um, or CNN um, and they were talking about whoa the countdown the countdown starts in 10 days it's Christmas do you have all your presents yet if you want to order them and get them shipped to your house that's what you have to do hurry 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 you need to get that done and so on and I sat there and, and I have all my presents already I have everything everything is even no only three presents are unwrapped but all the presents besides them are wrapped and I have them at home and yeah uh, but I was so stressed only by watching and and listening to these people that I thought oh my dear all the poor people who are um, who are I don't know uh, drowning in this environment because I'm I'm very conscious about not wanting to be like that but many people don't have the possibility because of their job if you work in a store or you work at your postal office you are in a hurry all the time and you are confronted with all that stuff um, yeah it was crazy and then I thought about okay what how will it be this Christmas it will be a little bit different I won't be home for reasons yeah family it's not always easy um, but I will celebrate it also a little bit smaller this year I told you some, um, less presents so less money for presents uh, more quality time sorry I always, said, I always check the dogs more quality time um, more about the real reason for Christmas so praying uh, going to the holy liturgy and all that um, yeah cozy home feelings watching movies or that <clears throat> how ca how did I came come here uh, well I will see how content I will be with this Christmas I don't know maybe I will be totally uh, disappointed but I don't think so I don't think so I feel that I'm so far away from uh, that sounds like I would feel that I'm a better person than others but I don't but I feel that I'm so far away from the normal society. For example, because of being ill for a week now, I wasn't able to go to other Christmas markets and I don't know how many possibilities I will have to visit uh, the other Christmas markets I wanted to. And I thought, okay, now I'm living in Vienna and I'm going to less Christmas markets than all the years before. And then I thought, okay, I could say, oh, it's not Christmas without having been to this or that Christmas market and then I think that's so stupid that is so stupid because Christmas has nothing to do with that I can say to myself now but it was a process you know a few years ago I said I don't know it's not Christmas without a real Christmas tree I will have a plastic one this year or it's not Christmas without being with family I haven't been with family besides last year for seven years on Christmas uh, I don't know it's not Christmas without this or that certain cookie <laughs> you know maybe you also have experienced this kind of progress or process in your personal life but yeah I realized and I I grow in this realization <coughs> that Christmas doesn't have doesn't have to do nothing with all that I try I try maybe some people are watching who are alone over Christmas or have 
I don't know, a very bad disease or other reasons why they aren't in that big Christmas mood. I can tell you, I can tell you that, yeah, I know it's hard and I've been there. You can trust me, I've been there. Christmas was always very hard for me the last years, very hard. Um, but it's Christmas in your heart, you know. I can tell you that Christ will be born in my soul and in my heart again. That's what Christmas is about. The Savior will be born in your soul and he is near to you and he will never let you down and you can always count on him. And God became human. That's what Christmas is about. Uh, we made a lot of other stuff out of Christmas and that is okay. Uh, all the traditions and and tiny things and presents and decoration but really to to get that straight Christmas is about Jesus is coming to you because he want to save you because he loves you and he want to save you that is Christmas so that means if you can't see your family on Christmas that's hard I know but Jesus is there if you have a bad disease or other problems which mm, don't let you come into Christmas mood I I can totally relate to that I I really do I've been there but Jesus is there and he is the one who is it about you know it's like having a checklist in my opinion um, when I was younger I thought okay I need to get check off all these stuff uh, all this stuff to get Christmas mood listening to Christmas music check baking cookies check buying presents check wrapping presents check you know what I mean but what yet now now think of a world where all that isn't possible think of other countries where it's not possible to do that or because you're poor or because you have no family but it's still Christmas it is still Christmas and the Christmas miracle will happen to you if you let the Christmas miracle happen. I have experienced this and this is what I wish you when I say Merry Christmas. That's from the bottom of my heart my Christmas wish for you this Christmas.
Takara Kaku, Mira. Thank <laughs> you. 